YouTube. I'm back, and like I promised, I'm going to attempt to paint the letters on my new tires that just came today. And like I said in my earlier video, these are Westlakes. They are 255-45-ZR-18s. Um, I always wanted the lettering on my car, but I had a choice between the glue-on ones, which were temporary. They run around 50 bucks. The permanent ones that are cemented on, that are over $120. And I had an option of painting them. So that's what I'm going to do. But uh, unlike other people, uh, I'm not going to go the cheap route and use uh, white Sharpies like I've been seeing on YouTube. I mean, they look good. But they're only temporary. After about a week or two of the elements, they start fading, peeling, or whatever. So I'm going this route. I'm using tire ink lettering pen. Uh, these are supposed to be long-lasting. They're supposed to resist fading and peeling due to the weather, car washes, and such. And I'm going with the white for the lettering. Uh, it's not just uh, paint and go. You got to do some prepping before you even attempt to put the lettering on here. This here, I'm going to have to clean this whole thing off. I find it a lot easier to do it with a new tire because it's less gunk on it, less uh, tire dressing and grease and oil and stuff. So you can clean it off better. But if you got it mounted on your car, I find it easier to take the tire off, lay it down like this. So then you can do your work and not worry about going over the lines or being nasty looking and stuff. So first thing first, I'm going to have to clean this tire. I bought, what I'm going to need to do that is, got me some shop towels. Just bought these. Just some cheap AutoZone stuff. Uh, a small pack of razors. Uh, that's for any kind of, if I go over the lines or whatever, I can, while it's still wet, I can scrape away that little overlying stuff and they said to use acetone or a degreaser now for me this car like I said these are new tires so I don't need to really clean them thoroughly but I do need to clean them because they got dust and stuff on them from the shipping so I'm just gonna use a regular cheap degreaser I bought this at uh, Walmart for three bucks so and plus before I get started I'm going to crack me open my monster, and then I'm going to prep this tire. Just basically going to spray this on, clean it up, wipe it down with the towels, and then we'll get to painting. So it's time to clean this thing right now. And here it is. It's clean. I did both sides, just sprayed on the degreaser, rinsed it off, and then uh, dried it with uh, one of the shop towels. Now I'm just going to let it air dry for a few minutes to make sure all the moisture is gone and then we'll start painting. Now remember to uh, check which side of the tire you're going to paint. Some tires are only one directional where only one side will be pointed toward the street. So just make sure to look at your tire to see that you're painting the right side. This car, these tires are made for to be on uh, either side should be, to be pointed out toward the street. So this is the side I'm going to paint. Uh, just be a few more minutes. You know, I'll just let it air dry. It's already almost dry right now. And then we'll get to painting. Now that it's dry, i got to pick which letters I want to color. In my case, I'm only going to color the SA-71 and the Westlakes on this side. Since they're small letters, Luckily for me, this pen has a large and a small tip on it. I'm about to use the small tip. Basically, I'm just going to do the edges first and then color in, color in the, the large in the middle. Same thing with here. Outline it with the, with the small tip and then fill in the colors in between. I'm going to take my time with it. And since I'm left-handed, I'm going to start... With this, I'm going to start from the right and work back to the left so my hands won't touch any of the damp paint. Uh, anything that goes over 
over the edges. You can just use a little razor and gently, while it's still damp, scrape away the overspray or the over any of the paint that goes over the lines. That includes on the inside too. So uh, let's get started. I'm gonna start on this side first. I'm gonna go across with one coat. Then I'm gonna rotate over here and do the West Lake while this one is drying. And we need to do three coats. One, one, then back here, a second coat, a second coat, and then a third coat, and a third coat. Between coats, if anything goes over the edges, just use the little razor blade and just clean up the paint that spills over the edges. Okay, let's get this sucker started. As you can see, the color is going in, but you can see I went over the lines a little bit, but that's where the razor blade is going to come in. I'm going to basically scrape all the little access that went around out of the edges out of the way, but it's filling in pretty good. I got one more coat. This is my second coat. I got one more coat to make it all even. And then when it dries, I'm going to get a little razor blade and I'm going to scrape up all the paint that kind of went over the lines. You can see it a little bit. It's going over the lines right there. This is with the flat lettering. It's just the raised lettering straight up a little bit. Uh, it was a little more work than the one with the ridges. As you can see, the one that has the, that has a deep uh, imprint into the tire, it was a lot easier to stay in line. But there's still a little bit, as the camera poke is in, there's a little bit around the outside. That's no problem. Like I said, one more coat to even everything out. And then I'm going to go with the razor blade. And I'm going to scrape all the little any little spot that kind of goes over, you can see a little bit over it on the camera. Any of the little spots, I'm going to clean that up, and then we'll see what the results are. So uh, right now, I'm just going to let it sit for about five minutes so everything will dry. Then I'm going to put in one more coat, coat number three, and then uh, I'm going to clean everything up with the razor blade, and we'll see how this thing turns out. And here's the result. Uh, still got to clean up around it. I got a little dust. You can see all the little dust around it like that. I just got to get a, just clean that up a little bit. And this is still a little tacky to the touch, so I'm not going to touch that. Uh, when this dries, I'm going to put some clear on it, uh, just to uh, protect it and keep it from fading even more. But I think it turned out pretty good. Um, now I got to start on the second tire, but this pretty much is what I wanted. Just some little letters right there and some letters right there. Um, well, that's it. I got two more tires coming in next week. I'm going to do the same treatment as this. And, um, next day I'm going to do after that is put the alignment kits I needed to put on in the back. And then I'm going to mount, balance everything, put the tires on, and see what they look like with the new wheels. Until then, I'll see you.